In almost all of my videos, you'll see me sitting next to my Vesta H2 water ionizer. It's made by a company called Alcaviva, which is located in Reno, Nevada. Alcaviva currently sells four different units, which are the Melody 2, the Athena H2, the Vesta H2, and the Delphi H2. So now, if you're looking at the picture, you're probably thinking to yourself, three of those look exactly alike. What the heck is the difference? So that's the question I'll be answering in this video. What is the difference between the four different models of Alcaviva water ionizers? Hey guys, I'm Dean Snyder from Snyder Health. Welcome to this week's episode of Water Ionizer Wednesday, where each Wednesday I'll answer another commonly asked question about water ionizers that I get from my customers. What I'd like to do in this video is break down the differences between each of those machines and then talk about what features they all have in common. But first, I'd like to ask you to go ahead and click that red subscribe button and then also hit that notification bell icon because I have new videos coming out each week and so this way you never miss an episode in this series. Also, stick around to the end of this video because I'll tell you how you can save a bunch of money if you'd like to get yourself one of these new ionizers. Let's talk about what makes each of these machines different. Out of these four water ionizers, three of them are countertop models, meaning they sit on the kitchen counter next to your sink and the water line attaches to a faucet diverter at the end of your faucet. And one of them is an under sink unit, meaning that the base is installed under the sink and the only thing you have on top of the counter is a digital remote faucet that has both the alkaline and acidic water coming out simultaneously through two different spouts. As I showed you before, these countertop models look almost identical and for all intents and purposes, they practically are. But there is one major fundamental difference between all four of these units, and that's the plate count. As I talked about in many of my previous videos, a water ionizer converts regular tap water into alkaline water and acidic water through a process of electrolysis. The ionization chamber that's responsible for converting the water consists of oppositely charged plates, meaning one plate is negatively charged and the next is positively charged, just like a magnet except with electricity running through it. As the water passes over these plates, the water is separated into two distinct streams of water. One is alkaline and one is acidic. The more plates an ionization chamber has, there is an increased level of effect that the water ionizer will have on the incoming water. For example, when a water ionizer has a higher plate count, that generally means higher achievable pH and ORP levels, and if the ionizer is made to produce it, a much higher level of molecular hydrogen. If you take a look up here, I'll post a link to a video I did which explains pH, ORP, and molecular hydrogen in much more detail. But for now, just know that the more plates a water ionizer has, the stronger the unit is and is considered to be more valuable. Therefore, you want a water ionizer that has a higher plate count if your budget allows for it. Now, getting back to the Alcaviva water ionizers. As I said, the three countertop models are nearly identical with the major difference being the plate count. The Melody 2 has five plates, the Athena H2 has seven plates, and the Vest H2, which is Alcaviva's flagship model, has nine plates of ionization. Compare that to most older models of water ionizers, which only had about three plates on average. The Vest H2 with nine plates would definitely be the ionizer you would want to get if you can afford it. But even the Melody 2 with only five plates of ionization is still a much stronger machine than any older water ionizer with five plates because the technology inside these new ionizers is so much more advanced than the technology in an older five plate unit. Like the Athena Classic, which was made about 13 years ago and had five plates, which was the strongest model back in that time. The last model, which is the Delphi H2, which is an under sink model, also has nine plates of ionization. The base is just really the Vesta H2 body, except it's been converted to be used with a digital faucet that lives on the countertop attached to your sink. Very useful if you don't have the counter space for a countertop model. Now, let's talk about what all these units have in common. All four models use the same dual filtration. In position number one, the standard filter is a basic pre-filter. That filter will begin the process of removing chlorine, sediment, particulate matter, and a host of other treatment chemicals. 
After the water comes out of the pre-filter, it then travels into filter number two, which is Alcaviva's proprietary ultra water technology. The ultra water filter is capable of removing hundreds of chemicals, including pharmaceuticals, pesticides, heavy metals, chlorine and chloramine, and so on, down to non-detectable levels. I'll post a link in the description area below to a video that talks about the ultra water technology and what it can remove. Also, you can swap out the pre-filter and replace it with a fluoride filter if your tap water contains fluoride and you want to remove it, which you should. There's also a hollow membrane filter for people that are on well water, which will filter out any particulates down to 1 100th of a micron. Again, all four of the Alcaviva ionizers use the same filters, and so the choice of filters is the same for all four machines. Now, let's talk about molecular hydrogen. All four units are capable of creating molecular hydrogen, and that's why these machines are all part of what's called the H2 series line of ionizers, H2 being the chemical symbol for molecular hydrogen. Now, as I mentioned earlier, the higher the plate count, the higher the amount of molecular hydrogen will be created by the ionizer. So, for example, the Melody 2 can create up to about 0.5 parts per million of molecular hydrogen. The Athena H2 can produce up to about 0.9 parts per million, and the Vest H2 and Delphi H2 can produce up to about 1.4 parts per million, and sometimes a bit more. The higher the amount of molecular hydrogen created by our water ionizer, the healthier the water will be. Keep in mind though, the amount of molecular hydrogen that can be created by any of these units is completely dependent on your tap water. And so those numbers are just averages. But one thing's for sure, whatever your tap water, the higher the plate count in the unit, the more molecular hydrogen will be created as you go up in plate count. So again, if you can afford it, you would want to get the Vest H2 or the Delphi H2 because they're both capable of creating the highest amount of molecular hydrogen out of all four of the H2 series units. As I mentioned in my last video, the next most important thing when it comes to water ionizers is its ability to clean itself regularly, which is a function of the ionizer self-cleaning system. Basically, the ionizer uses a self-cleaning system to shake off any minerals that stick to the ionizer's plating system, which would reduce its effectiveness over time. So a good cleaning system is critical to keeping your water ionizer at optimal operating levels for the longest period of time. All four H2 series units employ just about the most advanced self-cleaning system a water ionizer can have as what's called the DARK2 cleaning system. DARK2 stands for Double Order Reverse Cleaning Version 2. DARK cleaning systems are the most advanced cleaning systems a water ionizer can have and all four of the Alcaviva units use the same internal DARK2 cleaning system. I'll post a link in the description area below to another YouTube video that talks about why the new DARK2 cleaning system is so effective. Although there are a number of other similarities between all four machines, the last thing I want to mention is the warranty. All four units have the same limited lifetime warranty. Let me explain what that is. So when you get a new H2 series unit, the warranty covers all replaceable parts for life, meaning if you ever need to repair your unit, you'll never have to shell out any money for parts, which is great because some of the parts inside these units can be very expensive to replace. And then also there's a five-year warranty on labor. What that means is that any labor cost due to any repair is completely free for the first five years. After five years, you would pay for labor, but only to a maximum of $199, meaning that would be the most you would ever pay, no matter what's wrong with the unit. The five-year labor warranty is the reason why it's called a limited lifetime warranty. Alcaviva does have an extended warranty program, which will extend the labor warranty up to 10 years instead of five, but they do charge an extra 500 bucks for that service. But if you call me directly to place an order for a new H2 series ionizer, I can tell you how to get that extended warranty without having to pay for it. This way, your machine will be completely covered for 10 years, which is essentially the average useful lifespan of a water ionizer, although they can certainly last longer if you take good care of it. All right, guys, hopefully that clears up the differences between each of the four different Alcaviva models and explains why each unit goes up in value 
depending on the plate count. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, if you'd like to take a look at any of the four units and save a significant amount of money on the purchase of any of them, I'll post links in the description area below where you can get those discounts. Also, let me know in the comment area below if you have any questions specific to any of these four units, so this way you can make the best informed decision before you spend your hard-earned money. And if you haven't done it already, you can subscribe to the channel by clicking on this big round button right here, and you can watch other videos in the Water Ionizer Wednesday video series by clicking on either one of those right over there. Until next Wednesday, I heard that most hair salons are open back up now. So get a haircut. You probably need it. <laughs>